Stop it, this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Hi, How's it Jeff. Going? It was, it's, well, I, I look at the timer for the video and it's going an hour. <laughs> Indeed, that is the length of the video. We are playing Darksiders 2. Yep. This is the final episode. Unless Woo! I break down, and, unless I cut it into two different episodes so that I can actually uh, render times aren't obscene. We'll see what happens. Okay. Here is the crucible. So it's a weird amalgamation of the Bowser fighting arena from Super Mario 64. Got it. Yeah, kind of. It's got that. Uh, it's got that quality to it. Yeah. So, blue, glow blowing fire Thor, I'm assuming, is the uh, boss? You'd think so, but Let he's not. And it's disappointing. There are few. Do you fight him at all? The more no. You defeat, the deeper it seems kind of dumb, your... right? Yes. <laughs> it Damn. seems a lot dumb. Reward. If you take the reward, you must exit. If not, you may continue. But if at any time you fall, you will earn nothing. Oh, and one last thing. No one has ever finished the Crucible. Besides me. <laughs> Do you wish to enter? Yes, bring it on. Alright. Alright. All right. 100, oh, 100 levels. Not 100, 100 waves. Not 100 Wave floors. One. Every five waves, we'll get the chance to escape. Um, this is going to be um, relatively quick. I mean, it is an hour long, but... Right, the waves is, themselves this, will be short. Mm -hmm. This is the maximum maximum damage death in, at his most deathy. <laughs> his maximum carnage death? Mm -hmm. uh, so with all of our broken weapons <laughs> that we've been working on for the last, you know, 35 episodes... <laughs> the last two and a half years we've been playing this game, it feels yep. like. It all comes down to a bunch of 35k numbers popping out of dudes. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with that. That's that's pretty awesome. So there's a, the triple combo of magic I'll be using most often is crows mm -hmm. first, so they'll run around and do their own thing, followed by the um, uh, soul geyser. And those will pretty much kill everything, but if that doesn't happen, then a single hit, get the magic back, and then use uh, Teleport Slash. Teleport Slash is homing, so I don't actually have to point. <laughs> and it'll, it'll just, it knows where to go, and then just tap that until the wave is over. So if it weren't for the fact that you're recording this for the internet, you could do this whole thing one-handed, huh? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'd have to kind of, it'd be a little bit of a stretch the finger to get to the X button, but... Yeah, but you could still do it. He's chosen to fight on. He chooses to fight on. Oh, indeed. Every <laughs> five, yeah, every five waves, you get the option to leave. If you leave, you get a treasure chest. We don't need treasure chests. Every twenty-five waves, we get a special item. Two of which we've already seen in the previous episode, since they were the rest of the abyssal armor. Right. Uh, and the other ones we won't use because they're weapons and talismans that are garbage compared to the over overpowered stuff that we have currently. So, so are there uh, are there actual crowds or do they just have the Dynasty Warrior crowd noises in the background? It's just, no reason? It's just a crowd noise. Okay. The yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Has the sound. Choice. Yeah, that it sounds like it probably isn't, but it sounds a lot like the Dynasty Warrior for. Uh, crowd noise <laughs> which sounds way more impressive until you realize well there are like a hundred sprites on the screen and oh god my frame rate Your sprites character <laughs> Where models whatever <laughs> character models anyway yeah I'd play Dynasty Warriors that was sprites I honestly would <laughs> yeah that would be so bad yeah I mean, shining, I think of games like that. Shining Tears is like that, except make it a good game and I'll be okay with it. Except that game was actually fun with two people. Single player was bad, though. <laughs> like, mm. embarrassing. Never played Shining Tears. Is that an SR? Is that S strategy RPG? Or? No, it's, uh, it's like... Um, it's a sprite-based kind of Dynasty Warriors thing where it's two players. Uh, or it's, okay. it's supposed to be two-player co-op. 
if you're is by it, yourself. Uh, overhead Zelda style yeah, or side kinda, scrolling? Uh, or? Yeah, it's it's overhead. Well, kind of angled overhead. It's like a beat 'em up more or less, which is what Dynasty Warriors is. Okay. Um. And oh god, another five waves. That's shocking. Yep. That went mm -hmm. by real quick. Uh. But no, it's it's part of the Shining series. So it's like, you know, Shining in the Darkness, Shining Force 1 through Lord knows how many. Mm -hmm. um, um, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, yeah. It's yeah, all in there. It's all in there. But, uh, yeah, the, it's... My, uh, my stepbrother and I were playing through the game because he bought it and he refused to sell it because he bought it and he didn't want to inflict it on anyone else. Uh, so there's a tower in the game that the first time you go up it, it's like ten floors or something like that. So he and I decided we would we would run up it, and real quick, and uh, I was you do, yeah. And uh, I since it was two player, he didn't have just a really dumb computer per person controlling the AI and constantly getting itself killed within two seconds. Uh, so we started running. We actually got really good at running through levels, and it was two thirty in the morning. We both had to wake up at six the next day or that day. Uh, and we were at floor like 100 or something like that. It was like it has to be done soon, right? It has to be done. And we look it up. It's Is like, it infinite? It's like 500 floors, some like oh. crazy number. We're like, you just got Tartarus. <laughs> we got Tartarus. <laughs> so we're just like, well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> so that. I that, assume you couldn't... I mean, could you save the progress? I mean, what? No, so, no, it was a tower that you... you oh, hey, remember that boss? Oh, oh okay. That, that was... <laughs> wow, that was fast. That was one hit and then a prompt. Uh, we, oh, we will be seeing bosses pop up in these waves. So we'll... Not all of the bosses, but a lot of them will appear again in various combos. It's real depressing just to see 7k on an attack. I know, it's so sad. Tenacity is endearing. Tenacity. Oh. Why do you not get to just stab this dude in the face? Just right here. Well, just stab him in the face. It's time and money is usually the answer <laughs> That's to true. All That's these. true. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of time and money, since heck, we've got plenty of time, uh, mm -hmm. I and money right yeah. now. Right now. Well, yeah, maybe eventually. Relative. Who knows? I have a livable amount of money. Yeah. I think that's, that's... What else can you ask for? Uh, unending funds. I guess. I guess you could ask for that. Not necessary. Yeah, that's true. It's not necessary. But you asked what I could ask for. You... Yes. Uh, you could ask for a genie. A genie that gives you more genies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what you wish for. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two wishes and then another genie. <laughs> um... But, uh, no, I've... So, you know how much I, I like having cables look pretty. Um, I, I understand the appeal. So, at my church, it's... The stage has been a... It's, it's like zip-tie city. Just like... Well, no, it's just been a horrible mess. Just okay. cables everywhere. I mean, yes, the actual concern is that it's a tripping hazard, but for myself and the drummer, it was really just ugly. But we've, mm -hmm. we've, we've wired a new wall panel in. We've run wire under the stage. This is when you discovered, like, the ancient soda. <laughs> yes, this is when I discovered the ancient soda. And the half a face? It was just half a face. It was just... It wasn't the half that you're thinking of, either. It's, uh... And it didn't look like it was missing half. It was just obviously half a face. It was obviously complete, but only half of a face. So... That was weird, but it's it's underneath the church stage, so you're just kind of used to that. And uh, you're just like, hey, if it's going to stay down there, it's going to just stay down there. Yep. It's obviously not interrupting the sermons. And, it, and, uh, so. and I haven't heard it in eight years, so it's fine. Uh, but we've we've got it all wired up. and, and it, Don't do that. Don't do that when I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what are you talking about? I, I didn't hear anything. Help me. Yeah, I know. Dang. I will start drinking water really loud into this microphone. <laughs> all right, all right, water bottle. All right, I'm <laughs> done. I'll stop. All right, you know what? Okay. Anyways, yes. I will you're, put the mic organizing. to my throat uh -huh, and start uh -huh. drinking if you want me to. <laughs> oh, hey, remember that boss? <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, the uh, little construct he you died. murdered because you're a horrible person. He died. All right, water. <laughs> no, I don't want you. I don't want to hear your puking over. <laughs> All right, I will. I, yeah, no, I'll, I'll avoid that. So, oh hey, it's this dude. <laughs> the numbers are so stacked, I can't tell which one mattered. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the uh, I, I made it all look pretty and zip tied it all up, and uh, because we went to an inner system, I got to move a lot of crap off the stage. It's it's beautiful, beautiful. Oh, very nice. Uh, I've never actually used uh, in ear, or I'm assuming in ear also wireless. Not wireless. Uh, oh, not wireless. They okay. will be, uh, or two of them, uh, or three of them. Sorry, will be eventually. Uh, but for right now, they're wired. It's just the uh, more transceivers for those are, you know, six hundred dollars. <laughs> so I see. Uh, the church is willing to. Uh, listen to me when I was talking about sound control in a space that was acoustically not designed for. Oh, hey, he's throwing a tantrum. Uh, yeah. All oh, right, he's invincible. It's the exploded guy. Uh, let's see if I remember his name. I think it's his name is Karn, not Gorn or Garn. Uh, this is uh, what's her doodles little uh, failed creation, Muria. Oh, right, the hate, the hate beast. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. He is also dead again. Yay. Um, what were we talking about? You were talking about organizing. Oh, yeah, and so... In-ear stuff. Yeah, get in the oh, chair. Hey, no, oh, oh, hey, there's something going on that's of, of note. So then we have, uh, remember the old, uh, Gorewood. Yeah. So now we have a Gorewood paired up with two of the, uh, Sentinel. Huh. Oh, uh, what are those guys called? Captain Champions, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're dead. Yeah. Okay, go on. Uh. Well, the we we spent money upgrading the sound system, so we're gonna try the inner route specifically to get rid of wedge monitors, because our sanctuary is not designed or was not designed with that in mind. So acoustically, all of those extra speakers really sucked. So they're gone now, forever. Okay, we completed the first quarter. We got the Hearthstone Talisman. What does that do? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Screw it. it this the is pile. the last episode. I don't care. Throw it in the pile. Look how happy death is to yeah. be inflicting death. It's like in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics when you get the Chaos, or not the Chaos Blade, Ragnarok at the very end. Who cares? You have one map left. Yep. It is a danger. Mm. Ultimate weapon danger. Yeah. Or getting the ultimate weapon makes you so grossly overpowered that what is left of the game is an absolute joke, and the bonus boss is what you killed to get the ultimate weapon in the first place. Yeah, this is a... We've actually talked about this in the last episode. Yeah, we talked about this in the last episode. That's, that's why the, the previous episode was actually the last episode, but then was the episode that before... It's, uh, it was the ultimate yeah, penultimate. Yep. Yep, the ultimate penultimate. <laughs> Yay, Death is happy. Yep, look at him go. Now, despite our seeming invulnerability, there are three waves that can instantly kill you, almost. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, it's in the high 70s and uh, I think like 87 and 89, I mm -hmm. think, are the waves, something like that. Uh, oh, also, uh, execution reminds me. We'll actually be seeing some new executions for enemies that I don't think I don't think we've gotten to see the executions. Oh, for. okay. Well, that's nice. But when we get down to the high seventies, there is a wave of uh, sycophants, and the sycophants love to um, stunlock you with their lightning. Sycophants are the uh, they're the teleporting uh, lightning guys, not unlike those. Uh, enemies from that game that we mention all the time. Don't that is in Final yeah. Fantasy Tactics. Yes. DMC, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, it's the uh, Dreamwalkers or whatever they are. Yeah, the Dream... Dream... Yeah, Dreamwalkers. Yeah, I think it's that. It's either that or Voidwalker or something like that. No, Voidwalker's the portal gun in this game. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, can you blame us for yeah, Vo mentioning... Voidwalker's the su Warlock subclass in Destiny. <laughs> 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 I still haven't played a second of Destiny. It's really good. I'm playing it right now. 
No, you're not. So Your yeah, internet isn't good enough for that. And, and yet, and yet I am. <laughs> oh, you really are playing it right now? Hey, you know, it's it's easy to walk around the the tower, you know, turn in some quests, look at the new vendor items, you know, just, you know, just to see, just to check. Here I am devoting my full attention to Your this full stupid attention. movie that, that you've made of you playing this game that I have been watching you play for like two years now or whatever obscenely huge number it is, because God knows we can't pick short games to LP. Mm -hmm. Except for Zexus, that one will be over so, pretty quick. So, I hear what you're saying, and what I'm saying is that I need nine more helium in order to upgrade the defense on this Sunbreakers. So, maybe I'll just hold off on that. I guess I'm getting old, because all I just heard was... We only need two nom, more nom, Spirit nom. Bloom. <laughs> what are you worth? Like, honestly, I need more Hydronic Essence, so I should probably farm some engrams, honestly. Honest, Hydronic I'm Essence to get sounded a, the most normal of all the things you just to, said. Trying to, you know, trying to see if I can push up to level 28, see if I can get an Athean kill in the next few days. You're... <clears throat> so you know what? I'm gonna start talking about Final Fantasy Tactics again, because that's a game I understand. Alright, how about this? Uh, while I'm freezing that enemy... I'll talk about a game that you probably haven't heard of, but you're very interested to know about. Okay. So I've been playing Dark Dreams Don't Die. Dark Dreams Don't Die. Da -da -da -da. Yes, D yes, D4. Dark Dreams Don't Die. Okay. Uh, it is an Xbox One exclusive. Oh, great. So I can't play it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do not have an Xbox One. I have one at the moment because I'm borrowing it because of the uh, aforementioned raiding. So we're you know, doing Destiny raids. Mm -hmm. uh, but while I'm borrowing it, I'm playing through D4. Uh, D4 is... It's, uh, it's by, you know, the guy, you know, he might have recognized his other games, like, uh, Deadly Premonition. <gasps> it's my sweary? Yes, it's a sweary game, ah! and it is, it is so sweary. <laughs> There's some truly dumb stuff going on in that game. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing. I was, uh, I, had, I had my little, uh, my little fan moment when you're... You're just like a a Boston PDX cop that has lost his memory and is looking for D, but can go backwards in time by examining mementos and his uh, as you know, as you do. Yeah, this sounds it um, sounds delightfully sweary. It's, it's just he has such a weird fascination with America. It's just endearing and, and bizarre. So he's got this Boston accent. Anyways, his partner's name is Forrest Kaysen. I'm like, I'm instantly suspicious of you. <laughs> well, remember, Forrest Kaysen has been in all three of Swery's games. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Nonetheless, granted, granted, I remain suspicious. He died horribly in the first one. He kind of died horribly in uh, Deadly Permission well, 2. He, he, was, he was spoiler redacted in Deadly Permission. Mm -hmm. So... But, of course, did also end in a horrible death. Uh, I don't know if I'd say how that would rank as far as something from the Red Planet. Like, having your mouth pop out of your and get by a I don't... Or, no, have the of yourself uh, stuck in your pocket by an FBI agent. I don't know how that ranks in levels of pain. I don't know, it's a, it's a pretty pretty standard Resident Evil last boss style, you know? Right, but if, if you are the giant plant who is somehow masked all the things Mm-hmm. Because we're just talking deep spoilers now, I guess, whatever. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what, well, yeah, we, we don't have to... You should go play. People who are listening, just go play Deadly the Premonition. Premonition and then the come back. The game is extremely boring to play, but it is really. But it's so good. Ah, oh, just all the dumb crap. All the dumb crap. Oh, it's all that dumb crap. And good characters. Yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Very good characters. Characters are good. The crap is dumb. The mm -hmm. combat is abysmal. It is abysmal indeed. Uh, but it has it has a certain uh, je ne sais quoi. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Hmm. Uh, has a certain genius uh, sequis 
I'm sorry, I don't speak Russian? Uh, it has a, uh, it's, 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 shut up. You, shut up. Just because you fail at using the languages I understand doesn't mean you get to be mad at me. Hmm, okay. I'm being, uh, I'm, I'm being lectured on eloquence. By, by, the guy, by the guy who yelled, <laughs> I'm a dolphin, when he meant seal. Among other things. I mean, I can bring up the list if you really want me to. I, I mean, I could, I could do that right now. If you bring up the list, I'm going to just start reading from the book. All right? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll keep that in the back burner. All right. I have it up. I have the book up. Mm-hmm. I have a list ready. <laughs> If Anyways, we... Dark Dreams Don't Die. It's weird. I'm enjoying it. All right. It's basically just a point-and-click adventure game. So That was well executed. You just spin. They die. Woo. Yerp. Well, I, I, I like that it's a point-and-click adventure game because the combat is what made Deadly Premonition bad. Mm -hmm. It was made for um, Kinect. So it's, but it's, it's just a... It's just, yeah, you just say click here and then he'll walk there and then you know you can examine this or talk to this person and that's basically it and then some QTEs for I guess combat in quotes hmm so far. I guess it's closest to closest to like telltale adventure games a little a little bit of um, like heavy rain where you okay. just kind of like do a lot of mundane activities too all right I've I have not played heavy rain but I have watched someone it's play some, uh, <laughs> Indigo Prophecy. Uh, I have played... Uh, how much Indigo Prophecy did I play with y'all? Uh, oh, that's a really cool execution. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite execution. It's so good. That is really good. <laughs> I like how the, the scythe hangs out until the body goes away. That's nice. <laughs> um, no, I, we played, I think, the first 20 minutes of Indigo Prophecy, I think. I think. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, this guy. Oh, he froze and he died. Okay. That was really... How he popped up was really weird. It was just, oh, look, there's a boop. <laughs> boop. But uh, no, uh, Indigo Prophecy looked okay. And it's just... I, yeah, no, it just, it just goes completely off the rails. Yeah, which is why I didn't ask to borrow it. Because both yeah. you and Justin were like, yeah, it was really, really good at first. And then... And then it just goes completely <laughs> off the rails into just nonsense, but not like fun nonsense, like deadly uh, premonition, but just yeah, just like stop talking, David Cage. Oh, you've ruined it with your David Cage ness. Someone needs to go put you in a David Cage. All right, so I'm gonna hang up from the Skype call now, and we're gonna just. <clears throat> All right, the rest of the video, it's uh, it's gonna be me. Uh, narrating me going through my dailies in Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I won't. I, okay, I won't do that. good. I, I will refrain from doing actual missions. How about that? Okay. I, as I said, I know nothing about Destiny. I've actually almost fallen out of the loop with video game news, which is depressing. I see. But at the same oh, time, there's lots of exciting things. There's. Uh, Borderlands pre-sequel. Hey, you got shoes. That, that came out yesterday. There's the boots. Oh, the pre-sequel? That came out? Yeah, that came out. Yeah, that came out yesterday. Don't have that just yet. Uh, is it getting good Des reviews? Uh, I don't know. I don't care. Fair enough. I mean, I mean, I will play it with my brother and mm -hmm. and Eni as a do. Yep. Um, There was uh, D4, as mentioned, that came out about two weeks ago, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's a that's a special kind of game that only a few people <laughs> that I you, that me you and maybe one other person <laughs> would I, even be interested. I can in. think of at least one person who would be mm -hmm. real interested in it. Um, but no, a uh, deadly premonition that, was that actually his name is super super great friend. <laughs> it's super great friend. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's his real name. Oh, right. and also, uh, D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die, has nothing to do with the D series of survival horror games. Yeah. D, D2, etc., etc. And uh, which was Enemy confusing, Zero, I, yeah. 
I really thought that I was like, okay, it's like a weird continuation or something. No, completely unrelated. Just weird Japanese nonsense naming. Yeah. Well, I did. Uh, I did actually uh, look at some play of uh, Enemy Zero, which is technically D one and a half, or yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. D1, D2, better games. <laughs> Enemy Zero just seems like phony and in as far as titles go. It's a bad it's like, title. It's like the Japanese version of like an American game being called like Reckoning Rising. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hunter, Hunter Wayward Reckoning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That was uh, because the, the game was called The Hunter Wayward was the first subtitle and the second subtitle was Reckoning like great yep or Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning needs a better name it could use a better name well it could have just been called the Kingdoms of Amalur and I it would have been fine yep no it had to had to have a subtitle because Big Huge Games was gonna go on and or actually it was not big huge games. It was uh, 38, 38. 38 Studios is gonna go yeah. on and then make this big old uh, MMORPGA thing, and it was gonna. And then the baseball money ran out. Well, and it, Rhode Island was like, no. Nope. It was more Rhode Island. The the head of Rhode Island, the governor of Rhode Island, took me a second. Yeah, the head, <laughs> you know, Mr. You know, Mr. <laughs> Island. I was I was about to say mayor. I was like, no, Rhode Island is big enough to have a governor. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, the, well, uh, I guess technically it's, it's, just, it's a state. Even Definitionally, though it does have a governor, I suppose. No, I, Although it is about the size of, like, I guess the second floor of, like, a bigger house <laughs> from Houston. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it, I'd say it's about the size of an average plot of land here. Okay, yeah. Maybe, like, a, a block or two. You can get a few homes in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, a few Texas homes. I'm sure by Rhode yeah. Island standards, I'd live in a mansion. Or two. Perhaps. A mansion stacked on top of a mansion. A double mansion. There's some sycophants. Uh, they're, starting, they're starting to appear. Oh, wow. They're the worst. The shock effect just keeps, you know, it just keeps hitting you. That's... And they like to teleport, so... That's... It will only become um, almost a problem in the... Uh, you, uh, a dozen or so levels from now. Mm-hmm. Good view on the uh, passive yeah, beauty, <laughs> beauty shot of the, the passivist, indeed. Uh, but no, I, I, from my understanding of what I was reading about the, the company and, and whatnot was the uh, governor of Rhode Island, the new one, mm-hmm. did not like that the uh, old one had done the deal in the first yep. place. Yeah, they threw him under the bus publicly. Yep. The whole thing is just a, is a cluster. It's it's a very good indication of why you don't want to partner with a a with somebody a literal state. Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to partner with not just a literal state, but a literal state where the governor is about to not be there, the one mm-hmm. that signed the deal with you. Oh, but he'll get reelected. Well, that's not a guarantee, all right. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who I'm talking to at that point. I just yeah, because no one would ever ask my opinion on this. Probably not. <laughs> If they did, there's something wrong with them. I'm a musician. What do I know? <laughs> Not to take loans from the state. That's what I know. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. That's a lot of... Sycophants. Yeah. Sycophants everywhere. Wow. How did... Keep getting zapped. Those just, didn't even look going. like they were hitting you. Or is it you get hit once and then you take a few hits afterwards? Uh, sycophant execution. Dab. Nice. Uh, that's a classy one too. Because <laughs> they like teleport with the scythe in yeah, them, and you just grab stuck it again. Inside them. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they're yes. already repeating lines. Well, could... it doesn't really have that many lines, unfortunately. <sighs> it's. You know what? So, yeah, the the arena champion is is just very disappointing. I mean, he's they obviously modeled him, and they have the voice for him. He you know is your announcer. But you don't actually you don't actually fight him at the end. You just fight you fight him you fight him in quotes. Oh. But we, you just do uh, the final spoilers 
uh, Wave 100 is just Absalom again. So I guess it's trying to say like, oh, he's just like, uh, make, you know, a copy of Absalom that is him, but then you beat hit Absalom so they don't have to animate, you know, a new boss. And then he just appears back in the spot and is like, you beat me, ha. Ah. You know what I, I think I would prefer if that was the case? Literally the, anything else. The announcer, well, yes, but the announcer is just a floating head or something. And it's not, I oh, am the previous okay. champion, more. Come, fight. Aha. <laughs> yes, that, yes. Uh-huh. <clears throat> that may be a, a little bit of a specific reference. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of specific references, I'm on like episode 51 now, or 53 now of Nerd Poker. Mm -hmm, that was a Nerd Poker reference. <laughs> well, yep. I, uh, I've so far, as far as character names go, uh, mm -hmm. Brian Posehn is in the lead mm -hmm. with both, uh, Amartha Mon and... <laughs> hey, if you're listening to this, go listen to Nerd Poker. Yep. Because we're going <laughs> to spoil stuff again. <laughs> Apparently. I'm just, I'm just gonna... I can't say... Okay, fine. No, 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 no. That's... That's, that's no fun. If you listen to a D&D podcast and you know the names of the characters people have, that's no fun. Okay, fine. Because then you also know when people have more than one character, thus some character dies and is replaced right. and that kind of thing. Granted, I get that spoiled for me when I'm downloading the episodes, so that's fun. Well, just, uh, that's why you just, you just click on the next number. Well, I'm I'm trying. It's just sometimes the page will load, and I'll scroll down to where I can just see the download now button, eyes. and then it goes right back up. So I see. It's like, oh no, I've seen the first line. Why do you say that in the first line? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a little annoying, but yes. But everybody, yes, you should go. You should go listen to Nerd Poker. It is fantastic. It is quite good. Um, speaking of, what edition of also D&D were we Also rated Yes, exceedingly <laughs> R-rated. Uh, so, just, just, as, just so you know. as being on staff at a church, I didn't actually recommend that you go listen to that. That was Jeff. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was totally my recommendation. <clears throat> but, uh, so what uh, what edition of D&D are we going to use for our, our game that is probably going probably to happen be, eventually? I guess it'd probably just be five. Oh, five is really out? Matter. Yeah, it's five is out. That came out like I guess a few months ago. Oh, okay. As as of this recording. Oh wow. One of, one of the games that has come out. I guess we can lump it in there. <laughs> it's Dungeons and Dragons uh, Fifth see. Edition. Also coming out. Uh, <laughs> like dying in the air because he didn't yeah. have time to fall. Hey, you know it wouldn't be it wouldn't be an episode of Dark Siders unless there's some weird glitch. Oh, so yes, they they die so fast that they die on their feet or frozen. It sometimes happens. <laughs> yep. Got a little hat. Oh, hat disappeared. Uh, let's see. Evil Within came out yesterday. That's Shinji Mikami's survival horror game. Oh, okay. Uh, based on what I played at PAX, it seems like it might not be very good. Aww. But let's you know, keep the expectations at the right level. Wait, Shinji Mikami is Silent Hill or Resident Evil? As Resident Evil. Okay. Resident Evil, Okami, Beautiful Joe, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right, 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 right. Capcom, dude. Yeah, yeah. Capcom and Clover. 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 All right. So that came out. Uh, fortunately, that one's actually Redbox, so, you know, that might be a better way to uh, ingest, ingest that one. Uh, Alien Isolation also came out. That's supposed to be good. I don't know what that is. First, uh, first person survival horror alien game. Okay. Set in between Alien One and Two, I think. Oh, actual yeah, got the alien. And all okay. That. Yeah, okay. Actual alien. Okay. You said alien. I was like, oh, okay, so they're aliens. Got it. Oh no, you mean xenomorphs? No, no. Got yeah, it. Yeah, xenomorphs. Indeed. Indeed. Um, coming out soonish. Dragon Age. I'm excited for that. Oh, there's a new one of those. Yeah, Dragon Age Three Inquisition. Is it gonna be closer to one or two? I don't know. I like both. Mm. So, you know, I I like video games. Yes. Yes. I, uh, I, this, I've played neither, so... Uh, based on the amount of time they've spent on it, uh, it would at least has a much higher chance of having enough art assets to um, carry <laughs> through the story instead of not... <laughs> also, I really... Yeah, I really wanted to slam that guy's face to the ground, and then I did. Good. And then it did 4,888 damage. Yay. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... Punch in the air. I watched you do, like, three side missions in Dragon Age 2 and thought, you know what? I'm good. I, I've i seen them all now. It's uh, good. Like, Dragon Age 2 is good. Um, it's repetitive because it was rushed. Yeah. But, like, the part that the part that actually was good that they didn't skimp out on is, you know, the the characters mm -hmm. um, and the character storyline. It's still Bioware. Yeah. So, like, all the interactions with your party members and all that is all really good. Like, they didn't lose that charm. Mm -hmm. uh, I also prefer the uh, main character has a speaking voice <laughs> as opposed to Dragon Age 1, which is silent protagonist. Ugh. I strongly dislike that. I like Mass Effect style much more. Yeah. Silent. Oh, hey, it's this dude. Yeah, remember this guy? Argyle. Yeah. yeah. The that was the point where I was like, oh, he didn't just... He didn't just die. I have to remember to get around his shield. <laughs> Takes you a second. Yeah. Wow, this is the guy who killed you in like one hit. Mm hmm. Yeah. And oh, I'm frozen. Oh, oh, you're dying. Wow. That was close. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> you hit him twice and you're back. All right, good. Yep. Now he did. Again. Again. He Indeed. still he has still has a really cool death animation. A tireless avenger, are we? Barbed, Barbed defilers. defilers. It does something. I don't know. I don't care. It's carried uh, in service. Uh, Argyle Devil Lord's name. Just a, another Argyle related fate. thing. Soldiers of the hey. It's hard to read. Oh, hey. It is hard to read this low res text. All right, mm -hmm. it takes me some time. Well, it's either that or four gig download. So, <laughs> uh, why can't you just play Nintendo games like I do, where the crazy uh, look, I, high resolution video I give, is like? I, I see that in my future. I, I can see it on the horizon. <laughs> we're 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 getting close. We're Granted, getting close we, now. We still I can have feel it in my bones. We still have a Sura's wrath. But Indeed. That's well, a, that, that, that does not take nearly as long as uh, Darksiders, so... No, that's true. Just, just play through the episode. Yeah, we should, yeah, we should get back to doing something short like Xenosaga 3. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, part of me wants to because that game is so good. Like, people need to know. Like, don't pl like Xenosaga 1's fine, 2 I skipped. But Xenosaga 3 is really good. Yeah. I, uh, it's, a, it's high quality. We we tried going through yeah, that yeah, a little yeah. bit, but I think we both just really enjoyed playing the game more. Yeah, playing the game was a lot more fun than uh, having to go through and LP it. Obviously, LP is a lot more of a, a time sink, and the game is already a huge time sink. Yes, being you know a, a million a JRPG hours long. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and like half, like a third of that time is just trying to understand the backstory. <laughs> And as somebody who, like, really liked Xenosaga 1 and tried to play through Xenosaga 2, uh, Xenosaga 2 wasn't bad. It was, it's just, you know, I never played it in an app, because I, I skipped it after playing the first one, mm -hmm. um, and don't really feel like I missed anything, having played the, the third one, where yeah. everything gets, you know, concluded. Yeah, the second one, I think, was just a whole lot more of, you know, here's hear stuff <laughs> and then the third one was oh we've got to finish up all the stuff because we're not actually allowed to make another Xeno Gears game oh god yep <laughs> I think that, but they they pulled it together quite nicely mm -hmm. it is a very an epic conclusion yeah. great ending well I mean considering how uh, bad that uh, what was it Xeno Blade Mm -hmm. yeah, I cannot stand Xenoblade. People so, swear by that game. You know, they swear by it. Considering how bad Xenoblade was, and I, I agree with you, the problems it had are significantly like, here's the thing that was Here's the thing that wasn't a problem. The world, the setting, the plot, and such that it was. All that, I was like, please tell me more. And right. then the characters All exist. they put there. They all and then the characters the started talking and doing things, and then my brain turned off. Because all the things they were saying and doing were all the worst plot tropes. Yeah, yeah all of the worst anime cliches. Not even with, like, a nod. Like, a you know, it's just like, oh, oh, you're playing this straight. Okay. 
Oh, you're, you're still playing this straight. Really? No one's gonna say, Hey, I saw your dad die. That's not coming no, no up. One's, no one's gonna do that? No one's gonna say, like, you've talked about it. This mysterious person who has strange powers and knows your past, you're not gonna, like, say, like, Hey, man. Can we ask you, like, maybe just, like, two questions? No, there's no time. Goodbye. Just something? Anything? Just no? Your, your anime girlfriend is going to sit there and say, I wish we could be like this forever. I'm glad I'm never going to die. It's like, really? Really? You want me to just paint a target on your forehead right now? Do you want me to just shoot you? Because that's what you're asking me to do. Because mm -hmm. that's how you get dead. <laughs> that's how you get dead. I wish that's we could be dead. like this forever is how you get dead. You don't say that out loud. You might think if you don't say it out loud. Yeah, you can think it all you want. But... Yeah, that game was... I think the the worst offender to me was an enemy is five levels above you, you can't mm -hmm. touch it, it is a level below you, and you slaughter it. Yeah. Like, uh, level scaling, way, way too high. Uh, Destiny has a similar um, system mm. where enemies leveled above you, every level they are above you is a 25% decrease in your damage and increase in their damage. Wow. So four levels, it's literally impossible because you just don't do damage. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, well, well, it does. If it's, if it's, it's a well it's a gate, it's a way to gate things. It's yeah. not. There isn't really any time in Destiny where you have to go to a place that has high level enemies. Mm -hmm. It's not that kind of game. It's okay. uh, more of instanced missions, not like explore. Right, I just like there's there there are particular regions that have high level enemies just wandering around mm -hmm. that you can like wander into and then just get get deaded. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can't kill them, and even if you could, uh, the amount of experience you would get for the amount of time it takes is not worth it because you could just you know kill a bunch of regular mobs and right. get even more. I just, there's part of me that thinks that if you're, if an enemy exists in the game, no matter what level you're at, you should be able to kill it. Like, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer it's in... Dark should, Souls style, yeah. Not just Dark Souls, a lot of the Final Fantasy games, like, you can beat them at, like, a, yeah. a lot of them, you can be at level yeah. one if you know the mechanics well enough. Like, uh, low-level runs on um, Final Fantasy games are always... At least mechanically interesting, even if they take they take way too long, like right. you know, like five six hour runs. But figuring out like the exact thing, this okay. So to reference the actual video we're watching briefly, mm -hmm. these are the guys that will kill you and ruin your run. Oh, uh, because they all hug you and yeah, blow up. They 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 would just want to explode. Mm -hmm. So there, this is the first wave that has them in it. Um, I think wave eighty nine also has them in it. And it has a lot more of them. Hmm. So uh, this is really where you want, even if you have the broken weapons that we do now, oh, you hi. want to have health potions for that. Right. He, di he died. He that, that is another fun execution. Fortunately, after you get through 89, you don't have to see the exploded guys because they're the only things that can one-shot you, one or two-shot you, really. Oh, wow. That's a lot of exploded guys. So you just want to run ow, away. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, yep, God. Yep. Exploding, oh, God. Exploding. Exploding. Oh, no. We're going to go into... <laughs> Reaver yeah, there we mode. Go. Reaver mode. We'll just, uh, we're just, we'll just do this. Tank this with your glowy yep, yep, face. Just have, them, just have them chase us around a little bit. Oh, okay. It worked out. All right. You made it through. Uh, you've, you've... I guess you've that's more or less that's won. Concludes this, yeah, that concludes the strategy portion of the video. <laughs> Yay. Uh... You know, the, uh, that, that, I think that's more where it stems from, because I do appreciate in Dark Souls you can beat the game at level one, but it's mm -hmm. it also games like Final Fantasy V and well, all of them, more or less, up until... Yeah, pretty much. I think up until ten? It may have been up until eight. Well, no, eight encouraged um, you to not level. Ten has, um... So if you go in game FAQs, naturally there's FAQs of all kinds of yeah. varieties. And the Final Fantasy games are always great because there's so many specific guides. <laughs> you know, naturally you have like, you know, the monster guide or, you know, like max level guide. But there is, I have to look it up because it's so stupid. <laughs> all right, all right. Talk about Final Fantasy tactics. All right, so uh, speaking of dumb guides, I was uh, looking through a few of them just to see, and there, there are Ramza only level one guide, or I saw a Ramza only level one guide that just, I don't see how that could even remotely be fun. Yes, challenging, I could see, but I don't, 
how would that be? How would you keep from leveling? Really, one. Uh, I guess maybe there was cheating involved. I can't remember, but there were like some of those fights. You you just get hit in the beginning. I I'm not sure, but I'd, I'd have to look at it again. All right, all right, all, all right. You're back. Okay. Good. So, Final Fantasy Ten. There's a there's a challenge guide called the N S G N S N C N O N E N N E N B B Challenge. <laughs> what? So, what does that stand for, you might ask? Uh, yes. I asked that. What does that stand for? Uh, I have to look. Okay, I have to, I have to get into the part where it actually explains that. <laughs> I think I might be able to guess a few of them. Okay, so, it is a no sphere grid, no summoning, no customization, no overdrive, no escape, no no encounter. So, no no encounter ability, no blitz ball run of the game. Jeez. That sounds boring. <laughs> it does. <laughs> That's what I was saying about the low, like level one Ramza only from Final Fantasy Tactics. That just sounds boring. Oh, just with this one. That's so it specific. A good though. knowledge of the game. Yeah, it mm -hmm. does. Is it the prize? I guess it's for people who have literally done everything else. It it will require several tries for each boss in order to get the proper weapons and armors from them, and you will spend hours and hours in the same area trying to steal good items. <laughs> right. That's. That's not cool. Oh, hey, we're in the last ten waves. What? I guess I can go pay attention are, again. Are we in the last ten or the last five? I don't even... It doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's gonna be mostly bosses. Yeah. But they don't explode on contact, so it's Right, fine. right, right. Let's see. What's this next wave? 97! Oh, wow. So it's, we're in the last five. dun 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 yeah, it's uh. It's more Gorewood. I mean, he, he actually is, appears quite often. Yeah, we fought, actually got an attack this, off. I think this is the fourth time we've seen him, and the least, and one of the least threatening encounters with it because the other one he had partners. Yeah, I know it, that one is a little strange, but oh well. I, I, like at this point, every wave should be like six bosses. Yeah, it should just be boss on boss. On you know boss. what? I will say, Kingdom Hearts two. How they did the uh, the arena was really mm -hmm. good. Like at the end of it, it's just like you know, screw it, fight everybody at once, just all of them. Fight Final Fantasy. You fight Final Fantasy. All right, it's your little, <laughs> your little dude yeah. just flying around trying really hard uh, not to die. <laughs> so level 99 is one of the suffering. Uh, you'll remember these guys from Earth. Um, at Earth, you always had the ability to use a gore, how gore boot, whatever. Gore hammer. The, Gore hammer, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Nerf gun. Uh, exploding, yeah, exploding nerf gun. Uh, but they are a lot harder to fight, you know, mano a mano. Right. <laughs> Significantly harder than the last boss here. Yeah. Who dies just as easily as always. Yeah. Waiting for my prompts. You know, that couldn't be the arena champion, considering the arena champion is up there watching this. And yet. <laughs> uh, Tunk. I love the little T-ball sound that makes. <laughs> mm -hmm. This takes so much longer just watching the cutscenes than fighting. Yes. Fighting it kind of amusing if there was a bug at this point where when you kill him it just plays the end credits and you don't actually get to complete the crucible. <laughs> well, and then be, I guess we're just not going to complete the crucible <laughs> at that point. Yeah. Chop. Slice. Yeah. And now he's Deep tinier. Late. Yeah. Still has his Doc Ock tentacles, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, he died. <laughs> oh. There was a bit of a... Yeah. Collision there. Yeah. And you well, win. Finish the Crucible. Well, let's, uh... We got some... Oh, you got an Avatar Award. Uh-huh. We got the rest of our Abyssal Armor. Okay. And, uh... A few of the, uh... A few of the last achievements. All right. That's the one for completing the Crucible, as you might guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Abyssal Spalders. Mm-hmm. So we can also... Well, let's... Uh, we'll talk to... Uh, what's his doodle? Right. Assassin Talisman. I guess it does something. I don't know. The Eldritch Power, eager to guide its wielder's arm, the Assassin's... Oh, that's a block is... Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, oh. Sound it out. Well, no, it's just a block of gray at that point yeah, in the I know. video. <laughs> yep. 
So we'll, well, this is this is the first time we get to right. put on our full abyssal set. Right. So we're replacing the hardcore Koopa shell shoulder pad mm -hmm. with the abyssal set. There it is. Oh, mm -hmm. the Spalders have the horn Indeed. attached. Okay, they have the they have that attachment as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and despite what it looks like there, the horns are complete. They're not uh, cut off. Right. You defeated me in all the creatures imaginable. That is beside my master. Go to him now. Oh? We got the death card. And now we get to do the true last boss. Oh, hi. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Well, oh. I mean, I, I, was, I was building up true last boss for a while. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I wasn't... Ex I expected wave... 100 to be the true last boss honestly no, no, that, was, that was just regular last boss ah uh, uh we got the okay so the aftermath is another thing we get it's you yeah, know whatever it's a big hammer it's a hammer that's not the pacifist yeah. i think it has like the highest strength bonus in the game but mm -hmm. you know it doesn't instantly it, heal you to full every time yeah yeah the end <laughs> it's very imposing but yes this is called the end <laughs> appropriate so you just jump in a hole? Uh, no, we have to climb. Oh. We have to do a little bit of traversal before the end. Okay. That is a lot of green numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, and then throw that, throw that garbage away. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we did it. Yay. We got the aftermath. Yay. So, like one now one thing left is to go up to that little rock. Oh. Nope. Great start. All uh, right. All right. Now it's like Shadow of the Colossus when you're climbing that tower. Except mm -hmm. you don't have a grip meter counting down. Also, that tower might be the Colossus. Well, that's true. I was I was more referencing the uh, one that leads Just you to the, the road. Okay, it's just the the temple. Yes, in the garden, all that. Yep. Yep. Shadow of the Colossus is good. That's a great game. That's a really great game. It's really good. All right. <laughs> Let's see this. I'm death. You made it. <laughs> I do admire your tenacity. I'm redecorating. I need your opinion. On guard, you boob! Ah! ah, the true final boss. The music! Oh, this is perfect! Wicked K, so we you're could, awesome! Wicked K, Wicked K's back. Uh, he does a lot of damage on his attacks, but he doesn't have many of them. Mm -hmm. He'll he'll throw his hat, he'll do some... He'll do his magician Teleporting, trick. yeah. He'll do some... Cane, sword cane stabs. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he doesn't have a lot of health, though, so... Mm -hmm. So this you're, one's, you're this letting is still him gonna do be very one-sided. Yes. Yeah, I'll let him do his thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> nope, hat explosion. And he's done. Now, the ending of the game is disappointing, but this is the true Remember ending. Remember me as a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> it made the Jetsons noise. Tea time! Yep. Oh my god. I love this game now. Oh, good lord. Alright, so I consider that the real last boss and the real ending of the game. Yes. It was, it was, yes. It was better than the uh, the repeated ending <laughs> that was the regular ending. <laughs> oh my god. The Jetsons noise and the bing that's... Oh. <laughs> There's a treasure chest here. Oh, God. There is absolutely nothing of interest that could come out of this. That's just a regular elemental chest. Dash. It's a well, you get an elemental talisman. I, it does something. Maybe it boosts elemental damage. Whatever. Who cares? Mm -hmm. But yes, it it gives you, you know, leveled loot like all the chests. Right. Do. Oh yeah, possessed size. Great. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Oh man. Imagine if you got to this point and you got your first red weapon drop here. <laughs> and you're just like, what? <laughs> These exist? What? We. 
I'll, uh, I cut in the credits here. Okay. Uh, because I'm pretending this is the real ending of the game. So as, since as we you skipped should. the credits, we skipped the credits earlier. Oh, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Huh. So this is uh, this is this has been Dark Siders two. Uh, I quite enjoy the game. Hopefully, we'll be able to see Dark Siders three eventually. Nordic and all that. That'd be great. That would be uh, really great. These people here who made the game are out there somewhere, but Vigil obviously doesn't exist anymore. Mm-hmm. So yeah. this particular combination of people wouldn't happen again. Yeah, but... So it goes. As long as there is a Darksiders 3, I mm-hmm. I, I am okay with, with, with that. I can uh, I can always dream about, you know, four-player four co-op. Darksiders, Dark yeah. Yep. That would be nice. That would that would be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's. So, what are you gonna do with your life now that you don't have to watch Dark Siders videos? Probably all the same crap I was doing before. Just okay. Yeah, yeah. And some Zexus videos. Yeah, Zexus, yeah. and I, I do need to record the last few levels of that real quick. I'm going to uh, take some time off and not run. Wait, I'm just kidding. Azur's Wrath and Dark Souls are still going. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. How far into Dark Souls are we even? That's. Uh, we're, I think, at this point, uh, the recording this, I think we're about 14 episodes in. Mm-hmm. And with, with all the DLC, I think it's up to like 41 bosses. <laughs> so. And I've, There's a lot. I, I haven't even seen most of the DLC bosses. <laughs> yeah, each, each DLC adds three. So, uh, I think there's 34, it's something like 32 or 34 in the main game. Mm-hmm. Um, not all of which are, well, I'd say most of which are, are fairly unique. The, uh, congregation fight is maybe a little underwhelming, but it's more of a mini boss. Mm-hmm. That Although fight, throw like... It, throw it in the guide, it has a health bar at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it counts. I mean, that's, Pinwheel got something, so. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, Darksiders... Pinwell has a lore, you That's know, he true. has like a story, he's got a cutscene. The the congregation is really just like an in, a, a collection a little small collection of enemies that right. just kind of fight. So, Darksiders 2. Mhm. As somebody who has not played it but watched you mm-hmm. play it, indeed, over a lengthy amount of time, I'm glad it's done. Uh-huh. Uh but it it had some really high moments, and Michael Wincott is amazing. Yes, and should voice a lot more than he does. He's so good. Yes. Uh, if you want to, if you want to see see here slash whatever more Michael Wincott, uh, I would maybe recommend our Syndicate LP. <laughs> Yes. He features quite prominently in that as well. Yes, that was uh, that is another surprisingly good game. Uh, that we also spent a year we or also so spent on. like a year and a half on because I apparently decided to play through the entire game using nothing but tuba player sorry <laughs> yeah nothing but fist punching <laughs> yes mm-hmm. Michael Wayne uh, and also you know just go watch Alien Resurrection he's totally one of the mercenaries in that yep yep that uh that dude has has a voice that is quite good <laughs> He's, he's, he's right up there with uh, Clancy Brown. Say. Oh, which one's Clancy Brown? Uh, Clancy Brown. He's got a really, really deep baritone voice. Okay. Um, the thing that I most know him for is he plays brother Justin in Carnivale. Uh, uh, he has done he has done anime and uh, video game stuff. Just because uh, Clancy Brown sounds familiar. Let me go just pull up the old IMDB, get you, see if I can find a sample. <laughs> Fancy. Burden. I'm I'm yawning yep, because yep, yep. I'm tired. <laughs> that was a completely superfluous statement. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yes, yeah, a deep, deep resonant voice. Let's see things he's been in. You might have heard of. Oh. It's- so you've done a lot of cartoons stuff. Look at the little list. Here. I've watched cartoons. Um, he he did the voice of Red Hulk. Nope. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Uh, maybe uh, 
that out of Did he do a voice in Rogue Galaxy? That might be where I'm thinking of Maybe. him from. Uh, let's see. There's got to be one on here that's a little bit more recognized. I mean, Carnivale is definitely what I know him from. Right. I I don't know uh, that one he at was, all. So. Uh, he did Hades in God of War 3. Nope. Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, he's, uh, he's done the voice of Lex Luthor a number of times. In which ones? Um, uh, I'm I'm already gone. I'm past it. That's okay, <laughs> okay. I've I've watched. Uh, okay, well, uh, uh, it looks like a number of uh, Batman series and and video games. So probably I've heard it from there. Lex Luthor and Batman games. Oh, what, wait. oh is this one was a Batman and Superman one? I guess. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I realized that that doesn't make. Yeah. Uh, TV. Yeah, TV series. Yeah, yeah, they all kind of merge together. So okay. it's not that surprising. Uh, he was. He did a voice in the first Saints Row. I I own it. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> okay. All right. So that one's not. Uh, it's a no go on that. Mm -hmm. uh, Carnival I as mentioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was uh, Baron Praxis in Jack Three. Okay. That's how. I, okay. Got him. Okay. Got him. I know exactly also who he in, is. In Jack Two as well. Was he in? Yeah, Baron Praxis. I know exactly who that is. Got it. Okay. I All have right. sunk quite a number of hours into Jack Two and Three, so that's fine. Oh wow! It's over. The video's over. Oh no! <laughs> Quickly, we're done. Spend the next. Spend the next twenty minutes talking about random bull. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a Look, place in Houston hey, called House listen, of Pie. Listen, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're correct. It's delicious, and you should go there. It's open 24 hours a day, and the Monte Cristo sandwich is is like disgusting and also like great. Like it shreds your insides because the Monte Cristo is a deep fried sandwich that is covered in sugar. Yes, it is a ham, turkey, and cheese sandwich that has that is deep fried, fried covered and in then sugar, covered in powdered sugar, and then you are served with, with the dip that comes with it is either a very sweet syrup, a jam, or mm -hmm. both, or yeah, or both. You totally just you just dip that in some strawberry. Mm, that's so good. And then get to the stuff. French silk pie afterwards because mm -hmm. you can never have too rich of food. Indeed, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Look, Carnivale is really good. Okay. <laughs> It's sort of like a Dust Bowl America Silent Hill combo. No, thank you. It's uh it's it's a weird and occasionally terrifying. <laughs> uh it was on HBO, it was only two seasons and then canceled. Sad. So what about everything you just said makes you think I would even remotely want to watch that? So you should watch <laughs> Babylon, Texas episode of Carnivale. No. Uh, okay, or not. Okay, good. No. <laughs> no. I don't want to watch a Dust Bowl horror got, terrifying uh, Clancy, thing. It's, uh, as, as mentioned, Clancy Brown plays one of the leads. Uh, what's his What's his doodle? The guy who played. Uh, on, I'm, I'm losing it. He played John. I mean, he played John Connor in Terminator Three. I Eric, never Eric saw T three. Eric Stoltz. I think Eric Stoltz is the other uh, sort of lead okay. in Carnival. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've I've never seen a Terminator past two, so Terminator Three is not bad. I mean, it's kind of like, I mean, just think of it like Alien Three or Alien Resurrection, where mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, it's it's you know, it's obviously not the seminal work that mm -hmm. the other ones are but you know you can watch it and be entertained it's fine yeah alien resurrection is is we we talked about it last video but it is a solid bad movie mm -hmm. so there's, there's there's no reason to get upset about it not being alien or aliens again yeah because you know nothing's it, going to be yeah there was no way it could have been those things counterpoint it is absolutely acceptable to be angry at prometheus yes Yes, it is, because that movie said that it was amazing, and it wasn't. Look, Alien Resurrection might not be a great movie, but what it doesn't have is characters being extremely stupid. It so. does. It has characters that do dumb things, but those characters do dumb things because they're dumb. Mm -hmm. Prometheus has 
characters who are presumably really smart that do it's things that, that do things that make no sense given their established character and then there's the strong female and then there's the twist that makes no sense and then there's the donut that they don't run away from properly uh, we have to stop talking about prometheus <laughs> it's too late we have to look we're here we're here to celebrate the passing of an era darksiders at least as far as we know right now has been concluded yes we can move on to greener pastures greener more um anime filled world destroying so, azura pastures so we or, get to move on to that double lp of final fantasy tactics and dmc right mm-hmm. and we'll, we'll we'll throw xenosaga in there too it'll be right. picture and picture and picture <laughs> Uh, I'd actually be... like to see a video of that, see if we can we'll... make it work. <laughs> just try to, just, we'll put them all together. <laughs> no promises. No, that's not serious. Um, no, we will not do that. No, 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 no. As I, as I said in the last video, I love tactics a lot. I will not let's play it because I mm-hmm. can't do it justice. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You go watch go go watch some of our other stuff. It's it's out there. It's all or, good. I don't know, we go, are really good at what we do, so please. Go, go read a book or something. I don't know. Go watch an anime. Go go watch Gurren Lagann. Go watch Carnivale. It's, or it's or read the Black Company books read by Glenn Black Cook. Black Company. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Go read A Fire Upon the Deep since I spent the whole last episode talking about it for some reason. <laughs> it's, I, I, I don't know why, but it <laughs> happened. It's oh, like, God. We need to stop recording. We need <laughs> to stop recording before my hard drive explodes. I think that it's starting to sizzle. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit stop in three, two, one, 